Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning we'll tell you about an untapped Florida job growth fund, the Naples is rockin' hurricane relief concert, and more. Today is Tuesday, December 12th, and this is the Morning Report. Edo, a canine with the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office who's been missing since Saturday, has been found dead in Northport. The German Shepherd served with the department for two years. After a hopeful search, which the sheriff said included overwhelming support from the community, finding Edo deceased was not the outcome they were expecting. The canine escaped from the latched kennel inside his handler's garage Saturday evening. The garage door was left open because of the cooler weather, but it's unknown whether Edo escaped the kennel on his own or was removed removed by somebody else. The Northport Police Department is continuing their investigation into the death of Ito. Senate President Joe Negron backs a still untapped $85 million job growth fund created this year as Democrats continue to question the need to replenish what critics have called a slush fund for the governor. Negron offered support for Governor Scott's 2018 budget request to set aside another $85 million for the Florida Job Growth Grant Fund. Negron was less specific about whether lawmakers should meet Scott's request to spend the $100 million on tourism marketing agency Visit Florida. Scott's tourism marketing request would represent a $24 million increase from the current year, an increase that has drawn skepticism from some lawmakers. Meanwhile, several Democratic members of the Senate Transportation, Tourism, and Economic Development Appropriations Subcommittee said they'd like to see how the money in the Florida Job Growth Grant Fund is used before agreeing it should be replenished next year. Among some of the concerns are how the grants may be spread across the state. Read more at NaplesHerald.com. Naples had their first big We're Still Here concert since the run-through of Hurricane Irma three months ago. Naples is Rockin' was a collaboration between the county and the Naples Marco and Everglades Tourism Bureau, as well as Fresh from Florida State Agency. The event took place right in the heart of downtown Naples and was a night filled with food, shirts, and a concert headlined by Sugar Ray. Casey Weston, who was a finalist on The Voice, performed, and for Weston, it was a return home performance as she's from Naples. Before the last act, all of the police force and firemen on site were brought up on stage for the national anthem, sang beautifully by Weston, and a round of thank yous from the audience. Finally, Sugar Ray, the band straight of 90s fandom, came out to a roaring applause. The event was a great success, and money raised by the concert will be distributed by the Collier Comes Together Relief Fund, a joint effort between the United Way and the Community Foundation of Collier County to aid those still in need of relief. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.